Um, this is my MPCNC machine, mostly printed CNC machine. It's the uh, Primo version and I've just upgraded it from the Burley version. So I thought I'd post a build log of this. Um, I've also posted a build log of the Burley version if anybody's interested. Now I built a enclosure for it and the enclosure is a workbench from Amazon which you can buy for 30 pounds laid it on its side and covered it with some acrylic and uh, open and shut doors and so on um, one thing about these machines is that they produce a lot of sawdust that's the first problem I had with the uh, Burley um, I thought it was going to be good enough just to follow the uh, route around with a, um, a vacuum nozzle uh, no um, it's only got to look at a piece of plywood and then the sawdust fills the whole room so an enclosure is absolutely necessary I also designed a couple of um, uh, dust shoes um, which I'll, I'll post to Thingiverse if anybody's interested this one has got an acrylic window in it so you can see the work you're doing um, but it's quite bulky and um, takes up a bit of room if if rooms have to premium and you want it to home right in the corner then that's not necessary um, this one is a little bit more compact there's no window uh, but you can home the machine right up into the corner if you're using this one they're both magnetic they just clip on like that and you're good to go um, Uh, what else? Uh, at the moment I'm uh, just running a print job without the router going. Uh, the reason for that is that if the router was going you wouldn't be able to hear me speak. I think you, the only sound you can really hear is the fans of the controller um, which is a Duet 3D very very quiet you can't hear the uh, stepper motors at all not that it makes much difference when the uh, when the route is going uh, my control panel is up here at the top you can control the router uh, control the CNC from there um, you can move this around to wherever you want. It's got a flying cable. What else can I say about the machine? Um, the upgrade from the Burley, well, basically all you can keep is the electronics and the stainless steel rails. All the printed parts uh, need to be replaced. I suppose it's possible to do a partial replacement um, just replace for example the central gantry or something like that but if you're going to do that you might just as well replace the whole thing and whether it's worth upgrading I don't know I upgraded because it didn't, doesn't take me long to print the parts I've got a print farm and I printed them all off in about 10 hours um, and the machine itself I would say if you're looking for a machine that can uh, mill aluminium and other metals and this is not the one for you it's uh, it's quite accurate um, I don't think it's particularly strong 
if I was designing one I think I would use extrusion rails and rollers rather than uh, the uh, stainless steel pipes uh, stainless steel pipe is expensive I suppose you could get away with using uh, mild steel pipes or something like that but uh, rails uh, extruded rails uh, wouldn't be any more expensive than stainless steel pipes um, and I'd probably use more powerful stepper motors um, anyway this is fine for the purposes that I want to use it for and that is to make musical instruments out of wood uh, so there you go you can also control it from the computer uh, machine control dashboard move the x-axis move the y-axis there you go um, and you can run your print jobs from the computer and 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 so on so I will post a build log of this machine now if anybody's interested in putting it together um, there are some fine tuning bits and pieces that you could put if you like one of them is a, a mesh bed uh, leveler with a probe I haven't done that I'd rather do it manually by leveling, leveling the bed using um, using the CNC machine this is what I've done um, the other um, modification you might like to make is dual end stops so that it automatically squares again I'd rather make sure the machines put together properly and I can square it manually um, for a machine of this quality and caliber I don't think dual end stops are necessary but your, vi your mileage may vary and in any case you might like playing around with G codes and all that sort of thing in my opinion life's too short for that sort of thing it works perfectly well without dual end stops I use single end stops in fact I hardly ever use the end stops at all I just tell it where I want the uh, zero tell the software where I want the zero position to be and I'd rather build the machine square than have automatic squaring with dual, dual end stops um, and I'd rather machine the spoil board level then map out its irregularities in software and have the x-axis bouncing up and down whilst doing a job okay so I'll put the build log up now thank you very much